All right. Since this box is so big, I've opted to do the video out here, kind of like we used to do back in the day. Um, I said, look, it's a lot sexier, far away. Anyway, so anyway, this came in and it was so big. We were trying to get the best rate on shipping for this thing, and it was kind of crazy. Um, is it weighs a fucking ton. I, I, I'm honestly, I had no idea the size of this. I didn't ask him to, to measure it. Uh, that sounds really gay. That's awesome. <laughs> I was so serious. No. Or the weight. I never asked either one of those questions. I knew it was a big piece. I knew it was super fucking rare. And the first time I ever saw this thing, it was in a mask form. It wasn't in this form. So, and never really saw one, I knew it was kind of a hard piece to obtain, I never saw one like, uh, you know, for sale, my, my, all the time, in, in the whole time I've been collecting on like, uh, eBay or anything like that. So, anyway, he was trying, we were trying to look for the best rate, and literally it had to come like five to seven day, like, like ground, I believe, uh, and, you know, I was kind of worried about it just a little bit, just because I don't think you can take out all that fancy, like, um, um, insurance on it shit like that, but it did have tracking, it was going slow, but you know, it, 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 it was what it was, and it arrived today, it was supposed to be here, they were saying Tuesday, so it arrived today, today's Thursday, you know, ground's a little, little iffy, I was scared just because of the, the way this thing is at the top, I didn't know if it was going to get pummeled around, it is heavy, so hopefully everything's cool, I trust that my man packaged this well, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's one of the, you know, really high-end indie mask makers out there. Really cool dude. Uh, hard not to like this guy. Uh, he does some, uh, first time I've met him, or I had a, uh, a go with him, uh, was it, I don't know, I think it was, I, I just saw, I, I don't know, I, I saw him pop up somewhere. You know, somebody was talking about it, and I thought it was a cool mask, and I just went to his site and started looking through all his stuff. And he, he does like a lot of the Facebook live chats and all that, you know, the Facebook live or whatever. So this real cool dude. He uh, attends some of the mask fests and all that shit. He's always constantly working and busy. Um, I, I also have two other things that he made for me that I actually I, I, I love. They're still in my collection. And, uh, yeah, so it's Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels from Dark Side Studios. Fucking awesome. Really cool dude. This piece came up in a conversation, actually. Somebody was talking about this mask, and he posted a picture of this, and I saw this one time prior to him posting his up, and I had no idea that he had this, and it was another you know, high-end collector that had this piece, and uh, it was sculpted by Dominic Alvarez, Henry Alvarez's son, I believe, and um, uh, it, it was a mask that was made for Death Studios. Uh, I, got, I don't know how long it was actually in, in the production, or how long it was ran. They might even bring it back. I, I heard Jeff's was to bring it back some of the old stuff. So that's kind of exciting. Um, but this piece, I'm not sure if Distortions made this for Morris or, or what the deal was because I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I've read a few combos of this piece. That's what came up, and Ed popped up and said that they made these for for Morris. They're sound like real big, and, and real big like bus, big stuff like that. But this is basically the sculpt off of that particular mask with that studio. These fucking cats are fucking shit. Uh, hey, damn. night is just like fucking cursed. I don't know what it is. This whole fucking day is just been fucking getting on my nerves. You know, I saw this arrived and I came home and saw something else arrived and I was fucking pumped and then my cunt mom was fucking here being a bitch. I shouldn't talk like that, but fuck, man. So anyway, let's not bring that into the video. Let's just not do it. Let's just not fucking do it. Okay, so it's storming out right now. 
fucking thunder and lightning. The lightning's crashing down. I think this is like the best time to open this. It's fucking cool. The setting is right. So I have no clue where in the fuck I am going to put this thing. Because after seeing it next to me, and I'm 6'1", this is a big motherfucker. I really hope there's probably like this much stuffing in this bitch. So we're going to crack it open. We can bring it in for up close. Close and personal. See, when I used to do a lot of like the bust collecting, I would do my videos like this. Because the boxes were always massive, you know. And then when I switched over to collecting like the high end masks and you know, masks and stuff like that, I could do it from my bed, so it was a lot easier. These things are just fucking insane. Paul did a hell of a job packaging this. myself into actually basically the size of the mask with just everything added on to it extra. It's fucking killer. I've been eyeing up this mask since I started really collecting the high end masks and stuff. And I really wanted one. And I was waiting for my opportunity. I was like, ah it shouldn't be too hard. Maybe you want to pop up on eBay or collect or let one go. I literally never ever ever saw one of these pop up. Definitely amazing. Introduced to you. Look at my hand on his titty. Big old black nipples. I introduced to you fucking Banshee bus. Fucking full body scale Banshee bus. This thing is fucking massive. <laughs> Dude, I had no clue that this fucking bus was this big. This thing is absolutely fucking insane. And I really don't think I'm going to be able to put this in my room. My wife is not gonna have it. I can promise you that. Fucking incredible. I believe this is all foam filled. Get back. Get back, dude. Come on. Let me lay him down real quick. Wow. What an absolute amazing. Look at how much foam is in this motherfucker, dude. And then there's like a pole cut out so you can like make like your own stand. And it's all ready to go. You just have to like 
create, like, a, you know, make like a big ass stand for it. Oh my fucking god. I might take like a cloth and just kind of like wipe him down. Because it does look like he's got some kind of, like a lot of dust. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, slowly wipe all that off. It does have a small crack right there where it is. I'm not sure if that was from shipping or just, you know, in general, just from the age. But uh, that can all be fucking actually, like, kind of worked back together. I could probably fix that myself because the ear kind of crunches. So I can probably just go ahead and fucking kind of push that back together with some glue or some silicone something like that but there it is I mean this is a very very extremely rare piece and hard to obtain um, I like how the lights coming over the top of his head thing is absolutely fucking massive literally I need to, if I got my measuring tape out holy shit I don't even know how many of these that were made but like here I am next to it like I mean, it's just massively fucking big. So, yeah, it's in my collection now. Holy shit. Unreal. I don't want him to fall over. He's getting ready to fall over. He's had a long ride. Let me put this phone down. It actually looks like it was glued together once. So that makes me feel better. I don't think it was done in shipping. Oh, God. Let me put it against the wall here. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. So there it is. Against the wall. Big ass kitchen table. I really want to get a measuring tape out and start measuring off this dude. He is fucking massive, guys. Everything I definitely thought this would be, it definitely is. I just need to wipe him down with some fucking, like a damp uh, washcloth. And you know, bring all those old colors back. It's got a lot of dust on it sitting in Paul's garage for some time so I'm gonna wipe it down real good you know but uh, I could not be more could not be more pleased with this thing it's absolutely incredible uh, it's definitely a highlight for Halloween even putting it up like in my bay window and just freaking fucking kids out it's, it's just a massive amazing <sighs> piece this is not going in my room so I'm gonna have to figure out something for this um I don't know, there's no way I can go in my garage with the heat and it not being climate controlled. That would absolutely fuck it up. So I uh, definitely don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out something though. Because this thing is fucking... Um, I just want to thank Paul one more time for actually letting this go. I know this was kind of a big deal. I'm sure to let this thing go, man. Uh, and it's not every day you come across you come across something like this um, we'll come in for some more close-ups sorry about the phone guys I know it sucks but it is what it is so you know it was shipped and you know it's got like a little bit of damage to the ear there I'm gonna get my wife to hot glue that back together there just hot glue that not a big deal it's not rotting or anything I do like I said want to wipe it off immediately with uh, like a damp cloth it's foamed all the way through, even the chin, the head, everything's foamed on it. So, yeah, I just need to get it in a designated place and just keep it there. And, um, yeah, you know, what the fuck do you, well, what's not to like about this thing, you know? Incredible piece, old, I wish my titties were that big. He's built like a brick shit house. Uh, I would not want to fuck with this dude. He would definitely fucking wreck your shit just as evil and as satanic as it could possibly get but ju just having this thing in front of me right now is, is, is amazing I'm just blown away by all the detail you know Dominic definitely killed the sculpt on this thing man uh, it's one of the fucking more sought after Death Studios pieces so we'll see if uh, Jeff brings it back um, yeah man full on banshee banshee bust an absolute amazing piece to see in person. It is fucking huge. I think it's taken up my whole entire table there on the end. I had no clue that this thing was this fucking big. <laughs> I bet Paul's like, damn, I'm glad to get this thing out of my fucking garage. Jesus Christ. 
I don't know. I don't know if I could have got rid of it if I was him, but like I said, it went into a good collection, Paul, so I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for this opportunity to own such a cool-ass piece. It is it is absolutely everything I, I thought it was going to be and more. Absolutely amazing. Incredible detail. Just the scoff and the time that went into this thing. Just, it was fucking unbelievable shit. So I'm going to get a washcloth now and if you see the back the back's even cool it's all like rip, ripped up i'm not sure about what this was i guess these are just some whatever but yeah so it has like the you know it has like back character has all the spikes and the neck and shit just crazy dude fucking crazy i mean and every light the thing just fucking kills look at this thing guys Unreal. Well, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry the phone was bouncing around. But I was not expecting this thing to be anywhere near this fucking big. So, my wife hasn't seen it yet, so she'll be coming out and fucking just flipping out in a minute here. So, I'm going to have to figure out and come to some kind of agreement with her where the hell we're going to put this thing. Because it's fucking out of control. So I'm gonna pop off here. Paul, thank you so fucking much. Um, I'm blown away. It's a great, great piece. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this thing fucking cleaned up and we'll take some more pictures of it uh, this weekend for sure and do like a nice photo shoot with this thing this weekend. So I'm gonna pop off here because this video is getting really long. You guys have a good night, it's late here really long crazy day for me I'm just kind of glad it's over with I wake up tomorrow and I guess all this will kind of like settle in all the coolness yeah I had a cool day I had another piece come in and then this and then maybe I think tomorrow I know something else is coming so it's like just, here we go brace yourself so very cool thanks again Paul you the man and we be in contact soon bruh